My name is Ray, and my partner name is Jay, and we are land investors. In less than three years, the land business has changed our lives in ways we can only imagine. We want to show you how to do the same exact thing we have did to change our family's future forever, just as you can for yours. Peace, y'all. My name is Jay. My name is Ray. And we are Baker Boys. So the topic that we want to bring to you today is a type of investing that we do. And it's very important to understand the difference between the two. It's called inside the city limits and outside of the city limits. So I know you're asking yourself probably what's the difference. Well, inside of the city limits, you're going to have to abide by all the rules and regulations of the actual county. When you're outside of the city limits, what happens is there's no zoning. So pretty much buyers who like to come in who don't want any particular restriction on themselves, they'll go ahead and buy properties that are outside the city limits so they can do whatever they want to do and they never have to be worried about zoning. Um, so I guess a question that you may be wondering too is uh, which one is more beneficial to buy inside or outside of the city limits? And I would say the answer to that it is depending on what you're looking to achieve in your land business and your land endeavors. Uh, if your target and your aim is to, um, you know, maybe target properties that you can build on or pitch to developers, then you probably want to stay inside the city limits. That's going to have some guidelines and some restrictions and you can make some great money inside the city limits as well. We have found that um, that it's a little more competition inside the city limits, and uh, it's a uh, it, depending on what state you in county that you're playing in as well. Um, and in some counties, um, inside the city limits, it's a little more expensive. But what has worked for us the best, and this is personally just our results, what has worked for us the best has been outside of the city limits. Uh, the areas that we target to buy land in, our typical buyer is usually looking for something that has no restrictions. They don't want to deal with any restrictions from the county whatsoever. They want to be able to do whatever they can with the property. And no restrictions basically meaning <clears throat> if they wanted to put a car wash on the property, if they wanted to put a movie theater, whatever the case may be, there's no zoning that would stop them from doing anything with that particular property. That's why it's so attractive to the kind of buyers that usually that, that, that we attract because they love just having the feeling that they can do whatever they want to do with that land. And with that said, you know, it's definitely a big, big difference in between the two. Like my partner said that you can make great money inside the city limits. You can make great money outside the limits, but uh, city limits. But our primary fo focus is outside of the city limits because that's where our huge range of buyers come from. So that's what we target the most out of any particular piece of property. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, if we find something that's within the city limits and, and the value is there and we're getting it for a nice price, we definitely would entertain the deal. We have bought within the city limits and we have done with, done well with buying within the city limits. Um, so it's not off uh, our radar at all. Uh, we just, from our experience and from, you know, we keep data of everything that we, we pick up and buy at what price that we got it at. And uh, if you're looking to be a land investor, I think that's a key tip. Um, keeping your records and knowing, you know, your metrics, what have worked for you, that's very important. So city limits or outside of city <clears throat> limits, I always think they really both work uh, both really well, but that's what has been best for us. For sure. And uh, one more note to add before we get out of here is uh, inside of the city limits, you're usually dealing with smaller properties. And a lot of times when we were to acquire those particular properties, they would probably be for somebody who's looking to uh, build a house or different things like that. When you start dealing with that big acreage and they're unrestricted, they can build a house, <clears throat> they can have a farm, all different kind of things like that. So inside the city limits, probably smaller acreage, outside the city limits, usually bigger acreage. All right. So uh, please do us a favor, like, subscribe, Co comment, comment, like this page. Uh, as you see, we're getting a lot more active on this page and we'll continue to be active, dropping in probably at least twice a week, right. or at least five to six days. Yeah, somewhere now, yeah. A week. Daily, let's just say daily. Right, right. So um, follow us on Acre Boys page on Instagram. Follow us on this YouTube page. Like, share, comment. Until the next time, you guys be good. Take care. We out of here. Peace, y'all.